Hello, my name is Mike Guy. Uh, I made this video to be a quick addendum to my previous video on conditionals and loops, as there was a, a couple things I forgot. Okay, so in my previous video on conditions and loops, uh, I ended before covering uh, two things that are fairly important, and I apologize for that. So I had to create a second video here. It's a, a short little addition. Um, what I forgot to mention are the break and continue statements that are very powerful statements. They're very useful in creating uh, very robust programs. Okay, so let's take a look at exactly what these do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a for loop. Uh, and uh, what I want to do is I'm going to iterate. Uh, uh, oops. Let's see what I get when I try to talk and type at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to iterate through this for loop. Doing a console uh, console dot line. Oh come on now. And outputting the value of i. Okay, so let's just run this real quick. We can see, uh, and we're gonna have zero through four. Awesome, great. Now, what uh, we'll start with the continue statement. What the continue statement allows me to do is it allows me to immediately end an iteration of a loop and go back to the to the next, the beginning of the loop, the next iteration. All right. Uh, so let me show you what I mean by that. So I can say, let's say I want to skip the number three. Let's say I want to output zero, one, two, and four. Okay. I can say if i equals three, continue. So what's going to happen is this console dot right line is not going to execute when i equals 3. So we will not see the 3 being output. And I'm going to run it, and true enough, 0, 1, 2, 4. We skip 3. Continue makes everything that happens after the continue statement not happen, and it goes back to the top of the loop at the next iteration. Okay, And that works in, in pretty much any type of loop. All right, so the continue statement is very powerful. All right, now. Uh, the break statement is like the continue statement, only just a little bit different. The break statement says, hey, if the break keyword is found, we are going to exit this loop completely. All right, so not just this iteration, but all iterations. So what I want to do is I'm going to, if I encounter the number three, okay, I'm going to break. All right, and what we're going to see is when I run this, we see zero, one, two. At 3, it breaks, and we never iterate 4. The reason we never iterate 4 is because we have exited this loop. All right. Uh, so those are two very powerful tools. Continue uh, skips the rest of a loop and continues at the next iteration of the loop. Break skips the, the rest of the loop and, and breaks completely out of the loop. All right. Um, so that's going to conclude this video here. I just I forgot to mention those in my previous video, and I definitely wanted to have those. Uh, so those are very, very important, uh, uh, what do I want to say, commands uh, that you can use to make more robust applications.